the Brew Geeks. I am Dr. Peeps, joined by Michael. I am the son of Bruce Wayne, King. And I'm just Alicia. Just Alicia. And today we are going to be discussing what we think of the new look of the Batman. The Batman, yep. And uh, actually, Matt Reeves on March the 4th. Uh, on his Twitter page had posted a picture of the new Batmobile and that's what we're really going to discuss today is what we think about this Batmobile and a little piece of what we think about the movie but basically we're trying to stick as much as we can to the Batmobile without getting too crazy um, we're, both, we're all pretty opinionated on this one uh, you know a lot do you expect on Batman so um, maybe the Batman he's Batman it's a legacy to live up to greatest superhero of all time mm. Male superhero for all time. Anyway. You're a Wonder Woman. I am a Wonder Woman. She's awesome. Who's your staying in DC? Pete, you never told me who your favorite superhero is. It's like it's too crazy about it. Who you going to fire away? Who's your favorite? Mm. Not any mainstream piece of shit, but, uh, we won't go there. Squirrel Girl. Yeah. That's who it is. Yeah. That's who it is. I knew. I knew it. I knew it all along. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. Lisa, since you're uh, since you're new on here, let's. Uh, what do you what do you think about you? You've seen the pictures of, of this Batmobile. What do you think? Is it the Batmobile? I don't think you can call it a Batmobile. Really, it's just uh, it looks like it looks like a regular car, like from Death Proof, from mm -hmm. with Kurt Russell, just a, <laughs> bit, a little bit laid out with a silver instead of a black. That's about it. Is yep. exactly what it looks like. Yep. Maybe a little meaner from the backside, um, but it looks not like the Batmobile. Nothing like a Batmobile. Well, given you know where the story's taking place, it's supposed to be year one Batman and all that. Um, I think I think people are hating on it too early. It's early Batman. What we expectations? All know, we we all know Batman goes through like you know nine billion different gadgets. So early Batman, I think it's a good concept car for a starting Batmobile. You know, I, I mean, for me, as far as Batman, I, I mean, I like. Um, I, I like the whole down to earth, like everything's realistic. Like that's what I really like about the Christopher Nolan uh, films. What about it's, the fucking Bat Tank? Oh, dude, it was badass. Can't yeah, beat the Tumbler, man. The Tumbler. I wasn't sold on the Tumbler in the beginning. I thought, oh, what the hell was this? It's Which badass. maybe maybe you kind of think this about this one, so you really don't know until you see it on screen. But it was badass. You know, it was just tough, and you got to think if he's gonna, if 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 this is gonna be in a realistic standpoint, the guy's got to bring it. You know. For me, in this one, I, I, I can understand he's probably going to have like bulletproof glass more than like on the front, but hell, he don't have any covering on the front. I mean, for me, it just looks like Dominic Toretto's charger in Fast and Furious. I mean, it's just it's just like that ice charger, man. It's that little bit, even I mean, it's just that's that's what it makes me think of. Um, it's a little bit meaner. And and I would and I would think that they would have probably have up the ante a little bit. Just a little bit, you know, um, to make it look so much like a like a Dodge Charger, it's just not like I, I you know, I was expecting more. I mean, the guy's got millions or billions of dollars. Well, you're you telling me he's going to go back to that? Like he got to juice this baby up even more. Now. We're dealing with year one Batman, not like, quite like Batman Begins or any of that stuff. We're dealing with like year one, and it's not quite like he's got Wayne Tech and all this military contract stuff like he did and. The Nolan first. I agree. Hell, he ain't like just getting out of college and he's on a damn budget. I mean, this guy's no, like I mean, dough. He, he does, but I mean, we don't know what all this thing has. We just have a picture of it. We don't know, like, it could have, you know, tires that don't pop, bulletproof everything. It's stealth mode. You don't know. Ugh. You don't yeah, know. Got, there ain't enough shit on that damn, on the charger to get that going that crazy. But it's, it's what people aren't realizing that are bashing it so much. It's the beginning. It's not Batman down the line. It's not. It's hard to wrap your head around that. Yeah. Because there's so people, many expectations of it. People, yeah. people want all of this, you know, bizarre out of Batman, and I think that's why there was a lot of backlash behind the casting of Robert Patterson as Batman. Is yeah. People had a lot of expectations when it comes to Batman, and I'm like, oh god, it's Edward from Top Twilight. You need a little bit more meat. Yeah, but if you look at the rest of his film work, he can actually act, 
And he looks like a weird I'm actually actor. looking at a little bit more that. Uh, Bradley actually made a good, uh, a good comment on that because whenever I was basically bagging on it, I was like, no, what the hell is this guy going to glitter his way to being Batman? <laughs> like, I thought it was horrible. But, you know, obviously, like, he made a good point about some of the other roles he's played. And he's like, dude, he, he actually plays really serious roles and, and, he, and he's pretty good at it. So, um, I was... You know, I kind of looked into it, and uh, he, he mentioned like a particular trailer. I can't remember which one it was now, but it, it, it turned out pretty good. I mean, just you know, just kind of looking into it. So I think he'll play a good Batman. As far as the Batmobile, I'm not sold. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sold yet. Like I just can't. I can't see this being like Batman to me. You want Batman to be a badass, but his the car, man. The car is like when he's trying to get away. It, who the hell's not going to be able to hop this this car in? You know, I mean, it looks like it'd be fast, but I mean, what's going to make this thing, what's going to make like two or three cop cars not T-bone this thing and not be over with it? We you don't know, know what I'm saying? That's no point. We don't know yet. We got I to mean, you, hell, uh, they, shot, they shot the tumbler with a damn rocket launcher and it didn't, and it didn't phase it. Just tumbled a little. Yeah. But I mean, how many cop cars are trying to stop Dominic Toretto and <laughs> fail? <laughs> sure this. <laughs> They'll pull a safe down the road, won't they? <laughs> sure, sure. Good point. You know, I, um, so what do you think about these characters? What do you think what's going on? Because we got we got the new one, so I don't know if you got to see a lot about this new movie. But I mean, they're going to have they're going to have a Catwoman. They're going to have a, what? I know the Penguin. Um, the Riddler is supposed to be in this. Like he's supposed to bring out a lot of the villains in this movie. We don't um, even know how many. Like they haven't told us how many. Like their concept art of Johnny Depp playing the Joker. Which actually looks really good. I'd be excited about that. He's yeah. an amazing actor. I know that, like, and um, if you you've seen uh, Gotham, the, the TV series, uh, I think that they've done a great job introducing characters, brought them along. Some of the characters I wish they'd have done a lot more with. Um, and and if you've watched that series and, and you've kept up with it, you would have probably have, have probably thought the same thing. I know a lot of people did. You know, made a lot of comments about it. Um. They didn't bring along some characters like Doctor Freeze. Didn't didn't or Mr. Freeze. They didn't bring Mr. Freeze in and, and and really bring that character as far as I need to. Like they basically stuck with the Penguin and the, and the Riddler on that. But a dude, lot that dude of that played, played that dude that played Penguin was so good. Oh, he was. He was. He played such a great role. That's who I, they should have brought. I, I think sometimes they should bring people like that into the movies and, and do what uh, do a good job like they did in the show. Um, so what do you think about what do you think about that? Knowing that there's gonna be some characters, um, what do you think? Do you think they're gonna like with everybody everything being so real world? Obviously, it's gonna be so real world. And 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 this the Batman. What do you think they're gonna do about these villains? Do you think it's gonna kind of be like Gotham? I don't think. I think we'll see on the level Nolan Burr's villains. Because he kept even like every villain he introduced down to earth and gave even Scarecrow like a real world possibility version of how he could exist. So that's how I can see this movie going. The Chris Nolan, man, they better they better bring their A game if they're gonna try to take that one down, man. I don't think they'll be able to do that. <laughs> I don't think they can either. To me that's that's the that's the top. Top dog. But that's how I think they'll approach the villains. It's kind of that Nolan verse way of doing it. The real world feel. But I don't know. I like my Batman in dark, gritty real world, and I like him way over the top, you know, like an action movie. I mean, Batman can be played any way. Well, they're taking it crazy like the Joker. God, some people just get too off the wall with the Joker. Yeah. Like, I the like Joker the, himself is off the wall. Yeah. He is the epitome of off the wall. Like, I like the yeah. dark, gritty action of, like, Batman versus Superman. Like, Batman beating down Superman and coming up, planning his way to beat down Superman because that's Batman. Like, you give him prep time, the whole argument begins. Does Batman have prep time? Yeah. He will beat your ass if he does. That only is the argument is, does he have prep time? So, uh, so what do you think, Alicia? What's kind of, what, what's kind of your, your thing here? I'm just excited to see Catwoman. And how badass she's going to be, truthfully. And she better be, hopefully. That's all I got. Yep. So I'm looking forward to well, what that means. Of, yeah, a lot of them, um, you never know with these characters. Batman always brings a lot of different elements to the characters, the villains. Uh, 
So... Because Batman's got arguably the best rogues gallery that there is. Oh, by far. That's the reason why I think he's, you know, he is the best. It, it I mean, second things. best would probably be Spider-Man. Yeah. Batman and Spider, they did, like I said, awesome gallery of, of villains. I'm third would be probably Flash, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Superman, maybe. He's a good the Flash. And that didn't really touch base on a lot of the villains in Superman. They always bring Lex Luthor and just let it ride. Um, yeah, that's sad that Henry Cavill was now out of that role. Yeah, yeah, very sad. Um, but big change is coming. We got a new Batman coming. We got a new Batmobile. Um, and guys, please leave your comments uh, about what you think about this Batmobile. Uh, we want to know what you think. Um, what you think's coming up? What do you think about these villains? Just give us your input, and um, if you can think about anything we'd like to discuss about uh, a new Batman coming up, I, we're always willing to take in your opinion and your thoughts and uh, discuss it. So, uh, thank you so much for checking us out. Please hit the bell and uh, mm -hmm. please hit the um, subscribe button. So, thank you so much. Have a good one.